Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor. Out here in this 210 Sea Run in 2024, hardtop, beautiful boat. This overall length is 23 feet, beam 96, dead rise 15 by 22 by 35 up in the bow. You've got a 78 inch bottom, sides are like 32 inch. Oh, I think it's a weight capacity, it's 1485 fuel tank, I believe it's 90 gallons. Uh, max horsepower is 250, dry weight I think is 2300. All max weight is about 5600, an extra long shaft on that. It's got a spare tire carrier. Gonna clean my screen a little bit. Running into gas problems a little bit on the pump. I put in 27 gallons. I'm gonna try to get 37 in it. Swing tongue. Here's how you check your brake fluid. It says backing. This has got to be pulled all the way out and you can do this if you didn't have it hooked up to a power because your blue wire is your brake wire that's right there to set your uh, override a two inch peekapoo i know people know about the trailer but i'm going to go through it again uh, this has got a two-speed jack you can actually pull that out and then pull the handle out all the way drop it that makes an ultra roll big heavy duty uh, strap band band strap safety chain brake a lot of people don't know that. That slows that down if you want to stop it. If this handle was to take off, I always push down on that to slow it down so I can release that keel roller. You do not let the bow of the boat run on that. That's just a guide. So if you are in pretty steep and you come in, the keel doesn't hit that cross member. This is the bow. Drains right here for the bow. Got a cleat, got an inspection cap. If you go ahead and you want to add about like an anchor mount or something up there, uh, you can get to it through that inspection cap. Horn stop for the window. Dual wipers, uh, overhang hood to keep the glare off your electronics. Two pin house window, you can remove that if you like. You got grease zerts on there as well. You got a chine that goes out reverse flat to keep that water down. Chine, right on the chine guide. Uh, those there, I know you can't do it. Uh, because it'd be too close but I like to see those just a hair away from that chine because <clears throat> you can still get off if you get too much of the trail in the water uh, tides going out winds blowing you you can run up on this side uh, but hey it does the job though gear bath oil hubs brown good white bad uh, you got your bilge pumps right here overflow um, that must be for the macerator right there for the fish box in the center your gas fills there you got zinc bars here you got two one typically is a wash down you got two you got a live wood which it does in the back got drains on the back too to drain out that's a good deal welded on brackets and that holders on the side rear deck light bulkhead door 200 inline four cylinders aluminum prop 15 pitch by 15 i imagine diameter Stainless prop shaft, drive shaft, two coats of clear, two coats of primer. These are slim. They got the variable cam shift timing on them. So like a 2200, you get your horsepower instead of 44, 48. Uh, so a quarter, half, three quarter, when you hit it, it goes. Integrated hydraulic steering system right here on Yamaha. He went with a CL5 uh, gauge up front. You got your brackets there for your uh, transducers. Yeah, anywhere they're perforated, you can step on that. Don't step here but now you can step on here but you could step there uh hughes craft is 75 year anniversary this year you got your roof rails yeah you could mount a rear uh, deck electronics in the back if you wanted to it's got the area you can run a bracket or a ram mount heavy duty steps you got a two-step up underneath there to get to lower bolt holes also to get to your bilge pumps it's got two autos plus you got your uh live well pump and your wash down pump and there's a seacock valve under there so when they're like this that's open if they're like this that means they're closed in case they sprung a leak and then you get up into here i'm waiting for this gas pump to reboot up here so i can put a few more gallons in it you got a courtesy entry light diamond plate there to step on right here don't unscrew this all the way be very careful you can get it back in but be very careful they're fine threads so if you cross or at that you're you boogered yourself this is a baffle so when water goes it slows it down it creeps through so you don't have water coming out good drains here so water goes in there it goes into your bilge here's your fish box your live well here 
your warts down here you got a cap if you're not using your hose cap it or do this switch because if you don't you're going down the water you're going to have water shooting in here these are lockable you got a uh, or uh, insulated fish box battery here battery under there you got your 10 micron uh, Yamaha stick with Yamaha and change that 